Welcome to Concordia's Lower Grades Christmas Presentation. We are excited to sing and share the true meaning of Christmas with each of you this evening. If this is your first time at Concordia, there are a couple of things you may need to know. The restrooms are located right outside the back doors of the room you are sitting in right now. The women's restroom is to the left and the men's restroom is to the right as you exit. This Sunday, we will have our traditional worship at 8 a.m. and our home for the holiday services at 9.30 and 11 a.m. with special musical guests. Plus, we will have special treats and carolers in the courtyard following each service. If you are joining us online, we hope you'll stop by and see us in person the next time you are in San Antonio. Last two reminders, please do not use flash photography during the presentation, after the service, or asking parents to make contact with your child's teacher to check him or her out prior to leaving. We are about to begin. Thank you again for joining us at Concordia. And please remember, you are always welcome here. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Concordia Lutheran School's Advent Service. We will sing songs and reenact the never-changing story, the story of Jesus' birth. We are so glad to have you join us, and we hope you enjoyed the presentation. Merry Christmas. Please pray with me. Lord, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending him to earth as a baby to bring us salvation. We ask that you guide our words, actions, and hearts as we share his story. It's in Jesus' name that we pray, amen.
praise for Christ, born on this day to take the world's dark sins away. It is for heaven shining bright over the fields that Christmas night. Ours for the radiant star guiding the wise men from afar. Eyes for inn where people denied two weary travelers a room inside. S is for shepherds who vigil kept over their flocks while they slept. T is for tidings of great joy telling the birth of the baby boy. M is for Mary, mother mild, bending over her wondrous child. A is for angels whose voices rang goodwill and peace on earth they sang. S is for salvation, so full and free that Jesus brought to you me. These letters spell Christmas, the day God gave his precious son, our souls to save.
We now present first through third grade singing the musical Room for Christmas. Let's get to work. Wait a second, where's Mr. Cahill? He's at home with the cold, that means I'm in charge. Why do you get to be in charge? Because I'm the oldest and I've been in the most pageants, so I know it's supposed to happen. We all know it's supposed to happen. It's a Christmas pageant. Why can't we do something cool this year? Let's add some ninja penguins. Well, instead of wise men, three aliens can bring gifts. Take me to your leader. <laughs> but that's not how the story goes. That's the point, everyone already knows how the story goes. Sticks.
Let's just stick to the script. Please tell me you've learned your lines. Wow. The pageant is next week. Hey, it's a busy time of year. Yeah, we already got a lot going on. All right, day reader, hit it. Four scores and seven years ago, Caesar Salad declared that. It's in those days of decree went out from Caesar Salad. There's no Caesar Salad in the story. That's too bad, Caesar Salad is delicious. I suggest you practice your lines, or you'll just have to use your script at the pageant. Let's go to the part where Mary and Joseph arrive at the end. I'm Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. She's expecting the baby. We have traveled a long way. Please, do you have any room for us? Ah, uh, yes, Mary and Joseph. We've been expecting here. You, here's your key and room number. Elevators on left, complimentary breakfast from six to nine. Here's your key, complimentary breakfast? What? Do you know who this is? It's Mary and Joseph. We have to make room for them and for baby Jesus. But that's not how the story goes. I don't like that part. No one made room for Christmas way back in Bethlehem and 2,000 years later, what has changed? Am I right, people? Yeah. yeah! No, the point is to stick to the script. Let's go to the part where me, Angel, bringing the news to the shepherds. Fear not. Yeah. For I behold, yeah. I bring you. I bring you good yeah. news, huh? Hey, sheep, seriously! At least we know our part. But you're stepping on my big moment. The sheep only get one line. Yeah, what about a big moment? Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Three kings. Actually, it's three wise men, not three kings. Three kings, three wise men, what's the difference? Actually, the Bible never says there are three wise men. We just assume that because there are three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But still, frankincense, myrrh, why didn't I bring him a blanket or a teddy bear? Actually, hey, I have an idea. We don't have any room in the story for any ideas. What if we give this old story a new twist? And we certainly don't have any room for a new twist. What if after the Christmas pageant, we donate toys to kids in need? Yes, that's what I've been saying. We can make room this season what matters most. Bat. <laughs> Push it, I still...
light of all people. A light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. people out there. Hi, Mom. I wish I'd practiced more. <laughs> In those days, the Emperor Caesar Augustus made a decree that everyone in the empire should be accounted. This meant that people had to go to their hometowns to register. Joseph had to go to the hometown home, the town of his ancestors, Bethlehem. He was engaged to Mary, who was expecting a baby. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they found an inn to stay in. I'm Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. She's expecting a baby. We have traveled a long way. Do you have any room for us? I'm sorry, there is no room in the inn, but there will always be room in my heart. shepherds in the fields keeping watch over the quiet sheep by night. An angel appeared to them and said, Fear not, fear not, for I behold to you is born in this day in the city of David a Savior. You will find a baby wrapped in swelling clothes and lying in a manger. The shepherds and sheep hurried all the way to Bethlehem. There they found Mary, Joseph, and the baby. All the wise men came traveling from the east. (laughs) 
We have followed our stars since rising. We brought gifts. All those years ago, Xavier okay, okay, was born. In the middle. Okay, this is the kings of the kings. The kings, kings of, of the kings. kings. Today, Lord Jesus, we make room for you in our lives. We make room for you in our hearts. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. We would now like to share with you the story as the Bible tells. And it came to pass in those days a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be registered, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also, and Joseph also went up from the town of Galilee, from, from Judea, to the city of David, because he was of the lineage of um, in the town of David. Okay, I can't do it. And it came to pass in those days a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be registered, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from the town of Galilee, from, to, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he is of the house and lineage of David. He went there to be registered with Mary, his betrothed. 
who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. So she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Herod the king assembled all the chief priests and scribes. He inquired of them for where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. After listening to the king, they went on the way, and behold, the star they had seen when it rose them until it came to rest out of the place where the child was. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, and the days of Herod the king, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the half rose when it rose and have come to worship him. When they saw the star, they rejoiced excitedly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with, his, with Mary, his mother. And they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Please stand and join us in singing our final song, O Come All Ye Faithful.
Congregation, please be seated for just a minute. Ushers, just go ahead and do your work. Wasn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, outstanding. And I know that the sheep were sheep one, sheep two, and sheep three, but they really should have been shedding sheep one, two, and three, don't you think? You know, I'm always amazed at this program in particular because of all of the gifts and talents that are so enthusiastically and beautifully shared, and I know you had the same experience. I want you to make sure that you don't miss one of the very special gifts. The bulletin cover, it was designed by one of our students. Riley Hesterberg created this uh, bulletin cover, and I think it's absolutely beautiful and perfect for our presentation tonight. We also need to be sure and thank uh, Kay Pigeon, our director, for doing such a great job in getting the kids ready. And of course, all of the teachers and staff and tech team and everybody else behind the scenes that made this all work. Now, one more thing I want to ask you to notice on the back of the worship guide, there's some more things coming up. Uh, coming up on, when, on Sunday, we have our Home for Christmas. You heard that in the announcements. Uh, normal 8 o'clock service, 9, 30, and 11 with special guests and music and all kinds of special things in the courtyard. And then next Wednesday begins our Christmas services. We have our uh, first candlelight service on Wednesday. We call it a traveler service. Uh, Chris, Christmas morning, our Christmas Eve morning Sunday, there'll be a 9.30 worship service uh, for Sunday morning. That'll be different than the services on Christmas Eve. Family service at three and then five, seven, and nine, 11 o'clock services online. All of that's on the back of your worship guide. But uh, thank you for being here and thank you for being part of this uh, wonderful message. I wanna pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this night. Thank you for these beautiful children. Thank you for their gifts and talents and their passion and love for you. And Lord, thank you for all of the, the teachers and staff that have been a part of making this work. Thank you for the parents that entrust these children to us. We pray your blessing upon all that we do, that we would be strengthened by the message that we have heard and encouraged to live out the Christmas story in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. You can pick your kids up in their classrooms. Be sure and check in with the teachers. God bless you. Have a great night.